I didn't go to university, I didn't go to college um, because I didn't do as well. It's my only regret. I didn't do as well as I think I probably would have done if we'd stayed in Ledbury for me to do my TFEs um, up there and then move down here after I'd done them um, because I didn't do that well on certain subjects. Um, and that's my biggest thing that always makes me sad that I didn't go to college. I didn't do and I didn't get encouraged by the um, careers people in school because I wanted to even though it's it's daft this but even though i had no support down here but when i lived in ledbury i had i'd had the teacher for the deaf and whatever um that would see me you know twice a term three times a term but when we moved down here i had none of that and I always wanted to be a teacher of the deaf or something in that field, which is really strange considering what I said earlier on of being isolated, because I knew there were people out there, um, but I was never encouraged. So I left school, I did caring courses, I did, you know, I worked in nursery school, I worked, did lots of jobs, you know, um, and it wasn't something that I never thought, oh, I should go back. And then I went into retailing, which was totally different route altogether. Um, and then I had Ryan went back to work, then, then I uh, finished work then the year before I had David to, um, to, um, ta before I had David and then I had David and I haven't worked since. So that always makes me sad that, you know, but I never, it, it's, as I said, it's one of the things that always makes me sad, but I can't change it because I'm too old. Because by the time I do all the training and go to uni or to open university, I'd be literally, <laughs> literally finishing, starting work as I'm retiring. So it's like, well, what's the point to put in all that effort? So that's why, another reason why, the Sign and Share Club and all my other groups are so important for me because they are my you know, doing a bit of ESL, not very good at it, but I I do use it and I try and use it. David um, has support workers now from a charity called Action for Hearing Law, which used to be the national international r i n b yes <laughs> um charity and he's got support workers that come in because he hasn't seen them for quite a while um that take him out 
and go for a walk with him. And one of the chaps that he's got signs, and that's his first language. He's totally dead. So I have to sort of get my brain into the right thinking mode so I can communicate with him, but yet speak to David. So it's quite challenging, you know. But yeah, you know, it, it's... It's how it is, but it's funny. It's one of my things that I always think is things aren't done as a coincidence. They're done as fate because when I left school, I did my training in when I was in, in school. And when I was doing my YTS and my other course afterwards, and then Prince's Trust, I went to Mount Airy School um, to do training. I went to Portfield School. Um, I went to the Adult Social Club. The activity centre, which is where they're hoping to go now in September of this year. So all these things, they come in this full circle. And it's like, and many times that happened to me where I've done something years and years ago, and it's literally gone full circle. And I'm back there, and it's like, well, so that's one of the things I always think, even though I didn't do the thing that I thought I would do, I have done it in a way, in a roundabout way, because I am immersed in this, in this group where we all have a lot of fun. Um, and I'm learning communication, learning sign along Makaton. Um, it's great, you know, and I'm pretty much, pretty much happy that I've achieved lots of good things in my life. I've got two, two wonderful kids. I've got my family that are close by, I have a great relationship with them, I have a good relationship with my ex and his family. So, you know, I haven't got anything bad to say. I've got a house that I own, um, things that I sort of go, you know what, I shouldn't you know, I should be proud of what I've achieved. And, you know, there are days where you just think, oh, God, you know, I haven't done anything. But actually, when you put it down, I go, well, you yeah, know, I have done that. And I have achieved that and solved that problem, whatever that problem is. So, yeah, it's, it's good.